Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Melanie and I do predominantly food hauls on here. I used to do other stuff if you scroll back a couple of years ago. Um, and I might do more stuff in the future, but right now it's food hauls. So for such a long time, I was doing cooking collect orders. But for the last five, four or five, I have been going to the shop. So I don't know if that's going to continue or not. I hope it does because I get things that I wouldn't normally get because I get to see things in the shop. So I'm going to show you what I've got. I've got at least half of it out today and Clean Cooker cleaned it this morning. So Dr Pepper, I got this out the chilled section and it's not very chilled. So as soon as I've finished this part and I put it before I put everything else away, this is going to go in the fridge. So in the freezer, sorry, so I can drink it as soon as possible. Beans, even though we don't need them, the person that we live, I live with picked them up and I was like, we've got two at home and they were like, well, I've already picked up. <laughs> so now we've got three tins of beans. I got two two tins of chopped tomatoes. So basically, I always have chopped tomatoes in the cupboard. I normally have like between two and four tins and sometimes like they take up a lot of space and I'm like, oh God, I wish I didn't have all these because I could put other stuff in there. And then this week I went in the cupboard because I was making my own homemade sauce to go with the meatballs from last week. I did it two days in a row this. Well, I did it one day and then I did it two days later. And I used like two thirds of a can of chopped tomatoes. So I went in expecting to easily find a tin of chopped tomatoes. And there literally wasn't any. And then I had to like have a rummage round. And luckily I found one right at the back. And I was like, I can't believe I've only got, I've only got one can well now none because i always have loads in there so i've basically bought two because i literally need to get some back in the cupboard so a few weeks ago from asda i got the asda version of this and i didn't open it for a few weeks and then a couple of weeks ago i opened it and i've been putting it on all sorts of things or mixing it into things that i'm cooking and it adds a lot of flavor because a lot of the time even though i do have garlic normal garlic I either can't be bothered to cut it up or I don't want to cut it up because it takes ages to get the smell off my hands. So I started to use the tube of garlic and I've been like squeezing it to the point where there's like hardly anything left in there. I'm still getting little bits out. And I tried to look, find one last week and I thought it'd be in like in the vegetable section like they are at um, Asda and I couldn't find them and I didn't think to look anywhere else and I forgot when I was walking around to keep looking. So today, because I know I've only got enough for maybe one use, if that, I had a look when I was looking in the herbs section, you know, the herbs and like the spices and the meal kits, and I spotted this and there was no Tesco own version. And I think this was something like 160 or 180, whereas the Asda one was like 80p, so it's double the price. And Tesco surprisingly didn't have their own version, but I knew I'd want garlic this week, and even though I've got other garlic, I might not want to chop it up and this is the easy option and it's the quicker option i'll have like two minutes to like put some garlic in and obviously if i chop it up it won't be cooked so it's handy for that so i've got it to try it i know very lazy get very lazy do the ones you know where it's in a glass jar and it's chopped up and it's in that liquid and it has a funny smell to it because i used to use that all the time but the thing that it's in made the garlic taste a bit funny so i stopped using that years ago then we've got one bin liner left, so we've got a pack of bin liners. So these are predominantly for the dog, because she used to have one a day, but she doesn't have one a day anymore. Um, sometimes I just forget, and sometimes I'm like, she's had enough food today, I'm not having it, giving her an egg, because it gives her wind as well. Because um, she's a husky, and they also have very sensitive stomachs as well, so I don't really want to like, give her too much stuff, and stuff stuff easily affects her because of a, a sensitive stomach it gives a wind basically so i've got these basically for the dog but if we need any we'll use them but we've still got the ones that i showed in last week's food haul then these are the best fake burgers i've ever had in my life but they're expensive they're five pounds now i think today that if you bought them do if you had a cook card they're either three or four pounds because i did a manara over it because they are quite pricey for two burgers but they're absolutely amazing so i got them i've had these for about three weeks um they're really good this is what i like i put in the frying pan fry light salt and pepper sometimes i put a bit of mixed herbs in 
and then I will put the garlic paste on these and they're really really tasty it's not the most chicken like texture but it's one of the better ones if you're looking for a chicken texture it's quite good it's not soft like a lot of chick fake chickens are I got this last week and it's a pound and I know it's easy to make a salad and I do have stuff to make a salad with because I have made quite a few salads this week side salads but I really enjoyed this last week and it's got lettuce in that I wouldn't buy it's kind of that do you know that lettuce that's kind of not sour but it's kind of bitter that's it it's that and the sweet corn makes it sweeter and the dressing is really nice so I got it again I'm sure I got these last week or the week before and I finished them off last night I put the last three in a meatball sauce the sauce that I put with the second lot of meatballs because I used half a time and they're really tasty so I got them again these are for the person that I live with they pick them up then I got 16 seafood sticks which I've been having this is the third week I've had them I've been either like snacking on them or having them as part of a salad and I've really enjoyed having them I'll probably have them for a few weeks and then I won't have them for ages that's typically what I'm like with foods I've got two packs of four so there's four packets with two in each one so a pound I think a pack then again I've got the British chicken breast fillets these are the best ones there because obviously they do the cheaper ones which isn't actually much cheaper to be honest so I mean depends on how much you want to spend they're not like for two it's three pound and their normal two pack is something like 285 so it's only 815p more for a slightly better chicken breast two packs of panadol because one hasn't been lasting me like this morning I took the last two from the second pack of these that I got last week so I've had a lot of migraines I've got a lot of hip and back pain um and i've just been in a lot of general pain and i do have prescribed painkillers but you have to take paracetamol as your base painkiller and then you add to it so i've got them egg noodles again i make a bit of a stir fry like a chicken breast with some onion and some pepper and mushrooms noodles with like salt pepper soy sauce garlic paste and that's kind of what i've been having a couple of meals a week I had it yesterday actually, I actually had it twice because my noodles were out of date but they were fine and my chicken had yesterday's date on I think so I had it for my lunch and my evening meal but my evening meal I didn't have loads of vegetables or anything with it because I'd used up all the mushrooms and the red pepper so it was just literally that and that with like soy sauce and garlic and stuff Grapes! The person that I live with has got mashed potato and root root vegetable mash got one of these again because it's still on offer so i was trying to get the tesco's own version of vanish and all they had was the white one the whites i don't have many whites and i do have two lots of um stain removers that are meant for white clothes so um i didn't want to get vanish because it only had 50p off and i only get vanish when it's got like at least 152 pound off and i know that's not a lot of money but over the year it's a saving and i try to save on stuff where possible so if i see something that i like and i've already picked something up that i like slightly more sometimes i'll get the thing that i like not as much just to save a bit of money because food is quite expensive um it's gone up quite a lot so i've gone for this which is a spray version which i've never had a spray version before so I'm intrigued to see what it's like. It's just going to be annoying because normally when I get my clothes, I'll come down with a big pile of clothes and shove it all in the washing machine. Whereas I'll have to separate off the stuff that needs stain remover on and spray it on the stains before I put it in. So it makes my job a little bit harder. But I do get bits of makeup on the collar of some clothes and sometimes I'll drop stuff on me. And also because I've got a new dog, she's been getting me filthy and like she'll get stuff on her and then it'll get my clothes like so filthy i need a stain remover so i'll see how i go it's just so to either vanish goes down like a little bit more or they get the tesco version because i was using the other version and i've probably got enough for one use left because i've been really making it last um the only thing with the cheaper one is i find that i do have to put more in than i do with vanish but i didn't want to put vanish in the trolley this week so sephora because we've been going through quite a lot because of the dog um there was three choices and I think out of the three this is the one that I've had before and I like and I like the sound of so I got it. Fry right because mine ran out a couple of days ago and I've been using normal olive oil 
And I feel like if you use olive oil or other oils, if you only use a small amount, I feel like it's going to be the same. So I think when I finish this, I might just fill it up with olive oil. Because when I've read the ingredients, there's all sorts of stuff in this. Um, they don't have seed, but crisps, not that I could see. So I didn't get crisps, and then I was walking through the middle aisle um, to get back down to the laundry section, because that was the last place I was going before I finished shopping. And I spotted these on an end aisle with the cheese and onion ones, which I don't like. So I just got them. Um, these will take me longer to get through. Three onions because I opened the last onion yesterday. So I've had this before, probably liked it. And it was on offer for 40 something P, might have even been 40. And then I picked up the chocolate one to try. Got this last week, really, really good. Still on offer for a pound, otherwise I wouldn't get it. I only got one this week because I've got some other yogurts to try. But I've been enjoying having two of these and two blueberry ones like last week. These are a really nice yogurt and they've got a lot of protein in. I don't know what the protein is of my other yogurts, I just picked them up because I saw they were an offer in the free from chilled section, so I might not even like them. But if they've not got a good amount of protein in, I might go back to just getting four of these. I've been trying to get these for the last couple of weeks and they've only had the yellow ones and the red ones. Never tried the red ones, used to get the one um, with the yellow lid on and I liked them until I tried these and these are a whole new level of like a lot better basically so i got them been enjoying having one of them i accidentally got the maxi pack so this should last two weeks instead of one i've been having one of these for breakfast with a yogurt four days in a row so i'll probably start tomorrow it'll be saturday sunday monday tuesday with a yogurt and that's what i've been enjoying for the last few weeks i'll do this like maybe a few more times and then i'll be like yeah i've had enough of it and then probably go back to cereal Warburton seeded batch, one red pepper, and this is the ham that is on offer if you've got a club card. We're on the final part. So this week I went with these olives. I've still got about three from last week. The ones that I got last week had whole gar cloves of garlic in each one. I actually enjoyed them, but I thought I'd try this this week. It's a bit cheaper. And it's also got black olives in, which I think I actually prefer to green. Some lemons, you know the the story now honey lemon and ginger but also i've got two baking kits that are lemon and they both want um lemons in them now i have lemons in the fridge literally at the end of life so if i'm going to bake i need to use them soon or if i'm not going to bake i need to make some hot honey lemon and ginger drinks those drinks are brilliant they always make me feel a little bit better if i'm not well i've got a butter because i'm going to be potentially baking but i did have a little accident i dropped it on the floor so I got this last week on offer for 2 dollars because it had last week's date on. And this week it weren't on offer, but if you had a club card, it was either £3.50 or £4. And I enjoyed it, especially the buns. So I thought I'd get it again. I'll probably have it Monday, um, hopefully. These were on offer again, but not as cheap as last week. Last week, if you got them, if you had a club card, they were 25 p And this week, if you got them and had a club card, I think they were 45 this week. I've finished the pack last week and I finished... The week before I got some bigger lettuce, I can't remember which one it was, but they're twice the size. And I finished the final one of them off as well, so I had a lot of salad last week. Um, so yeah, I will use them. These are my onions. They just look a bit battered and bruised, but they're absolutely fine. They're not much cheaper than normal on, um, onions, mushrooms. Um, but they'll be for stir fries and stuff, so they don't need to look amazing. They look better than the, what they had on offer last week. So the person that I live with got these, and I said, oh, the normal ones are cheaper, but you only save 5p, and these actually are much nicer, so they went for these. So these are the oats that I got. I was in the free from dairy free section, and someone was picking loads up, because they were on offer if you had a club card. I think they were £2 instead of 2 50 and they just kept picking loads up, and I'm like, oh, they look nice, because I like strawberry and banana. Is it two strawberries and two banana, or are they strawberry and banana? the strawberry and banana so i was like i want to get them but they've hardly got any protein in whereas the protein yogurts i've got is it 20 grams or 24 grams and these have got like less than four i think it's 3.4 per yogurt or something unless i misread it but it was really low so i might go back to the other ones but if i love these and they're an offer i'll probably get them these are my dog's favorite treats she's had one because she was under my feet and it keeps her busy for four or five minutes so really happy with that cucumber i've only been getting one a week um some weeks i'm getting through the cucumber some weeks 
it's rolling over into the next week but i'm finishing the next week and that spring onions broccoli three bananas whole no sugars organic hummus thought i'd try this even though i don't really eat philadelphia but i thought i could have it in something um be interesting to see what it tastes like mini rolls to help me take tablets so i've been washing a couple of things that i've said that you can put them in the washer and they've been coming out like brand new things coming out looking like i've washed them 20 times so there's a few things that i'm definitely gonna have to hand wash so i got this don't know if i've had this one before um i've had a hand wash liquid before probably from tesco but i don't know if it was this one got eight of these and one of them i got a 12 pack nine pack of the coconut oil toilet rolls and i bought this plastic container to put stuff in well it's not container it's not got a lid but you know what i mean i think it was 350 and i got these which are in the freezer and these which are also in the freezer and that is everything that i got today if you have any questions please feel free to leave them down below if you're new to my channel or you watch my videos but you still aren't subscribed please subscribe don't forget to hit the bell notification button that way when i do upload you'll get an alert i should be back in about a week's time with my next video i hope you've all had a great week and have a great upcoming week and thank you for watching